All right, welcome everybody. I wanted to describe the maximum weight matching problem. This is a problem in graphs, and I'll show you how to set it up as an integer linear programming problem. And then I'll remark how this is an easy integer linear programming problem in the sense that you can just solve a linear programming problem to solve the integer one. All right, so pretend we have a bipartite graph. That means our graph, um, in our graph, the vertices can be this, uh, divided into two sets. You know, the first type of vertices and the second type of vertices. And all of the edges in our graph go from one type of vertex to the other type. Okay, so you never have an edge between vertices of the same type. In this particular example, the vertices on the right are people. Very impersonally, I'll refer to them as person A, B, C, D, etc. And then the vertices on the left are different roles that they could fill in our company. Okay. Quality manager, secretary, trend analyst, etc. Each edge goes from a person to a secret sorry, goes from a person to a role. And the edge is equipped with a label, and the label is how effective it's a measure of how effective the person is in that role. So Amos's effectiveness as a secretary would be 48. Um, Amos does not have an edge to the webmaster position because maybe his effectiveness there would be zero. Okay. Amos would be quite effective as a vacation specialist. Right? His effectiveness would be 95. And he'd be reasonably effective as a quality manager. 57. So this graph is bipartite because the edges represent, you know, effectivenesses of matchings, but we would only match in a person to a role. We wouldn't match a person to another person. Uh, we're not uh, matchmakers, nor would we match uh, roles to roles. Okay, so the optimization problem here is you want to match these seven people to these seven roles in a way where you maximize the total sum of effectivenesses. Okay, so you want to maximize the total sum of effectiveness when you assign people to roles. Most optimization problems can be um, potentially addressed by a greedy approach. The greedy approach is not always optimal. But in the greedy approach, we're just going to go through and find the best matchings that remain and that are possible and do those matchings. So the highest effectiveness that we see is 96. So in the greedy approach, we just match person C to role R. And then the next highest um, possible effectiveness is 95. So we match person A to role V. Then we keep going. Um, this is an effectiveness uh, label of 90, so we add in that. And then we have an effectiveness of 87, so we add in that. Sequen sequentially, we keep adding in the edge between a yet unmatched person and a yet unmatched role that has the highest remaining effectiveness. We don't even match everybody to a role, right? So when we take the greedy approach, Person E doesn't get matched to a role, and role T, this trend analyst, doesn't get filled. All right, so we, in some sense, we haven't even satisfied our, our expectation of matching each person to a role in a one-to-one -one fashion. Here on the right is the optimal solution. So in the optimal solution, every person is matched to exactly one role, and the total sum of effectiveness is 95 plus 87, etc., is as large as is possible. Wonderful. Let me describe how to solve this as an integer program. So each, um, our, our graph G has a vertex set uh, capital V and an edge set capital E. Each edge has an associated weight. 
So W sub E is the weight of edge E. You know, for example, this edge has weight 87. XE is going to be our variable that encodes whether an edge is included or not. So each edge is either included, that's represented by a 1, or not included, that's represented by a 0. So this is indeed what we're trying to maximize, the sum of the weights of all the included edges. And now I should comment on our constraints. Our constraints can be summarized as follows. Each vertex should be a part of exactly one edge. Right? Every vertex, whether it's a person or a role, should be part of exactly one edge, meaning it's matched exactly once. So for every vertex little v, when you sum over all the edges in your graph that contain that vertex, all right? So for every vertex V, when you sum over all the edges in the graph that contain that vertex, so here you're just summing over these two edges, um, you should get the value of one, meaning that vertex is contained in exactly one edge. For a different vertex, maybe this vertex um, corresponding to person C, I'm summing over all the edges that contain that vertex, and I want exactly one of them to be included in my matching. LP here stands for linear program. The LP relaxation takes this integer program and removes the integrality constraint. Okay, so right here, each XE is supposed to be an integer. Let's relax that and no, let's just allow xe to be not either the integer 0 or 1, but any real number between 0 and 1. The rest of the problem stays the same, and now we just have a linear programming problem, which is easier to solve in general than an integer linear programming problem. Okay. So in this LP relaxation, you could have things like person B might fulfill role Q 60% of the time, and they might fulfill role T 40% of the time, right? Because then these two variables would be 0.6 and 0.4, and they sum up to 1. Okay. Because every integer solution is also a solution to the LP relaxation, that means that we get bounds. So the, the maximization, the optimal value that you can get in this LP relaxation is gonna be bigger than or equal to what you can get for the integer program, right? Just because every integer solution is also a, a solution to the LP relaxation. So the maximization can only get bigger. And that comment that an LP relaxation bounds an integer program that's a general comment. That's true for any integer program. You can always form a relaxation, and the optimal value of the relaxation gives you a bound on the original program. This particular integer program is easy to solve in the following sense. There's a theorem which says the LP relaxation has an integer optimal solution. So when you solve this LP relaxation, you can actually always find an optimal solution in which all of the variables xe are integers, either 0 or 1. So for this particular problem, the optimal value of the LP relaxation is exactly the same as the optimal value for the integer program. That doesn't happen in general, but it does happen for this class of matching problems. Furthermore, you can show that when you use the simplex method to solve the LP relaxation, you actually find an integer solution, okay? So the moral here is that sometimes solving an integer program is no harder than solving a linear program. This is a case of that matching. In matching, you just solve the LP relaxation and you end up accidentally solving the integer linear programming problem. In general, however, uh, that's not the case. Uh, sometimes your LP relaxation does not also solve your integer program. 
All right. Thanks so much, and I hope you enjoyed this brief introduction to maximum weight matching problems. Thanks. Bye.